Wow, I am so excited to unbox my brand new Kickstarter delivery for the Manufactions expansion and the Subterfuge expansion for Fantastic Factories. Yeah! I think you probably know I really enjoyed this game. I made And That's How You Play with Barb video for Fantastic Factories. I think it's just a clean, fun game that has dice worker placement and if you've seen my top five mechanics you know i love dice worker placement so i kind of want to just open everything up with you and kind of talk about what's inside the box and what it offers as an expansion to the base game and what i got in my kickstarter bonus add-on extras because there were all kinds of packages inside of the box that wasn't inside of each of these boxes because there were those bonuses for the Kickstarter. So that's what these little, you know, extra packages are here on my playmat. As you can tell already, I got the playmat. It's really nice. It's really nice. Here's the cool thing. This, I mean, look at this. It's stunning it's so great the iconography is fantastic the explanation for all the things are there for the workers the dice the icons the building types work phase game end i mean this pops here's the cool thing flip it over the back side solo mode ah how cool is that everything you need is where it needs to be everything is ready to go this is really cool. I didn't even really think twice about getting the player mat, and now that I have it in my hands, I, yes, I, I feel like I was validated. <laughs> I was like, yes, this is it. I made the right choice. So, so cool. So pretty. It's just lovely. So double-sided. I'm going to leave it on this side um, and put my stuff back because I'm going to start opening up everything and just seeing what's out here. So, the first thing I'm just gonna pop into my manufactions, get my little nail action going there. I'm gonna rip this off. It says the manufactions um, has the consolidation of power and expertise in the form of corporate factions, which kind of to me sounds like terraforming Mars, where you have those corporate abilities that everybody gets that's unique and gives you some special ability to kind of manipulate the game. And I like that. I like just a little bit of asymmetry, particularly with your kind of starting um your starting game and it kind of gives you a direction to go in. So I'm really excited about the corporate factions. It says it's a unique competitive advantage that shifts the way business is done. Yeah, I think I totally figured that out. So which faction will you align with in order to establish market dominance? Maybe there are factions to align with during the game that people share. Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure. We have new blueprints contractors. There's a new resource. There's a resource called vitamins. I'm going to find more about that in just a minute. And then asymmetric player powers. <gasps> so excited. I'm so excited. All right. Got my rules. Obviously I'm going to have fun punching these out. These look like the vitamins and it appears that the vitamins are chips that you can acquire that allow you to modify your dice up one or down one. It looks like it has the plus minus sign and so it lets you adjust your dice rolls so you don't like your dice. You really want to have one more three so you have a bunch of threes to do something. You can do that. It looks like that's available. There also are 12, it looks like, of the um, base corporate uh, corporations and if I take a look at this little package that I got from my Kickstarter, it seems like I got two more. So I have 12 for that in my box, plus two more really cool ones that were added on as part of that backing on Kickstarter. So, so excited about this. This looks like my extra cards that I get, right? Because I'm getting 
what did it say? I'm getting blueprints and contractors. So yeah, I'm just going to pop this open. It looks like we've got the uh, solo player rule on this little uh, player aid card on the back, which is really, really helpful. And wow, we I've got all of these extra blueprints as a giant stack of blueprints. And that's in addition to these blueprints. So now I've got like so many blueprints. Really, really cool. Super excited. I've got the um, solo player and then I have five because this game goes one to five of the cheat sheet cards, right? Our little player aid cards. So it's this side for the each round. Here's what you do on the back. Here's the legend for what everything means and the types of buildings you have. There are five of those plus the solo play. And then it looks like I've got new contractor cards and contractors for hire. There we go. In addition to these guys, woolly moly. Mm, looks like I even have some more blueprints in this deck. If you're looking closely, you can kind of see where the line of that contractor uh, coloring ends. So I'm going to open up those guys in just a minute so I can see what I've got. So I've got contracts for hire. I've got blueprints. I've got my two extra corporations. I've got my 12 here and I've got those cutie little vitamins. That's what came in my manufactions box. So awesome. All right, I'm gonna get that guy posed here. We're good to go get those rules nice. They give you tips and strategies. They explain all of the uh, cards in the appendix. So, so cool. I am really loving the Manufactions expansion. This seems right up my alley. Like I said, I love those, you know, just a slight kind of strategy boost that players need to kind of go in one direction and to really maximize that particular, you know, technique or uh, strategy to kind of hopefully do better than their opponent. I like that, the, the asymmetry with that as well. More contractors, more blueprints. Let's check out these other one. Okay, so I've got this subterfuge expansion. This is corporate subterfuge. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe I got myself in a little bit of a pickle here. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, player attacks and player interaction. Um, honestly, the last time I played Terraforming Mars, please don't yell at me in the comments, we took out all of the negative cards. We took out all the attack cards. <laughs> is that bad? But we like to play Terraforming Mars where we're just kind of competing with each other and building our own, you know, corporation and like going onto Mars and doing uh, positive things as opposed to potentially negative things. There's nothing worse than getting your plants attacked. It's always the plants. Um, your plant production or your <laughs> your actual like resources, you know, that that's what that's what it does. So corporate subterfuge here says the stakes are high and tensions are running hot. Do whatever you can to get an edge over your competition, including some subterfuge. I hope it's I hope it's okay. <laughs> we'll see. Looks like you get new blueprints and contractors, much like you do here, which is great. A play a way to directly interact with other players. Hmm. Stealing resources, cards, and even workers. Oh boy. Okay, so sabotage. I don't know why I didn't catch on to subterfuge as the keyword for the expansions, but there it is. Okay, so let's put this bad boy over there. Got this, obviously got the cutie rules. We've got the deck here. It looks like it's about half and half contractors and half blueprints. And then, ah, looks like we already have some already punched out, uh, which is fine. Uh, so let me make sure. Yep, I got it. Okay, so sabotage, sabotage, sabotage. It uh, looks like there's an other side to it. So I kind of just punched those guys out of there already. Um, so it looks like it says sabotage repairing. So sabotage, to begin repairing this card, flip over this token and assign any die. The question mark is any die of your choice. And then uh, on the back side, it says repairing. It cannot be sabotaged while repairing. Discard this token at the end of the market phase. So, okay, someone sabotages you and says, okay, you can't use this particular blueprint, right? Uh, your, your, your factory. Then you go and repair it with the die, which that's a worker. You're going to fix it. 
uh, gratefully they can't attack you while you're fixing it, but then it's open for, you know, business to have anybody do that to you again uh, the next turn when it's is open for business. It looks like I had nine of those guys in here. So those are the tokens. Uh, and then, of course, I've got my uh, contractors and my blueprints here. So I'm going to rip this pack open and see what comes out. Because I want to see what some of these, you know, sabotage cards look like and what they sound like and how much they cost. It's not like you can just sabotage somebody for free. It's going to take some of your workers to do it as well as their workers to repair it, I assume. Okay, so I've got this cloning labs, this labs. Ah, ooh. Oh, neat. Okay, so there's a guard tower that kind of protects you. Um, if someone wants to sabotage something you have, you essentially force them to go to the guard tower first, and the guard tower kind of serves as like that front line. You know, when you're sabotaged, guard tower must be targeted before any other building. That's cool. Lighthouse can't be sabotaged, so that's fun. Oh, you can steal cards. Corporate spy. Ah, so there's going to be some contractors that allow you to do some sabotage. Steal a die from a player and roll it as your own for the next work phase. Now, in this case, you're going to have to buy your contractor for two of the lightning bolt symbols. So there is going to be a fee, and it seems like you can do sabotage from both the blueprint side, or protect yourself too, um, and the uh, contractor side. Place a sabotage token on a card. That's going to be this. Ooh, saboteur has no cost. Wow. So in that case, player order is going to be really important um, to get to this because you might want to grab it before somebody else grabs it uh, and kind of forfeit choosing a blueprint card that turn. Maybe going for a contractor instead. Yeah, some saboteur cards. We have some thief cards. Steal up to three resources total from players. Yeah, that is really fascinating. Kind of like the union leader at the end. It says, other players must play the next work phase with one fewer die. Wowee. Yikes. Okay, so I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought maybe, it, maybe when I play with this, though, I'll let you know how I feel about the sabotage or the amount of, of sabotage and how it feels in the game. And if I like playing with subterfuge or... If I just want to play with the manufactions, I really am looking forward to playing with the corporations and just including all of the blueprints and the contractors and all of this stuff that I got from the bonuses. Let me check out some of these packs I got as part of the Kickstarter. So this first little teeny tiny pouch has two contractors and four of the blueprint cards. Uh, it seems like I've got three different cards here. So this is Draw Studio, this is Word Workshop, and uh, this is Mimic. So you get to copy the effect of another contractor. Uh, and if there need to be additional costs, then you pay those, but it allows you to copy one of the other uh, contractors. Nice, okay. Word Workshop, Draw Studio, pretty cool. Some more stuff, I'm loving it. Let's check this out. Looks like we've got a Cryo Lab. Yep, so there's a cryo lab, a university, so those are blueprints. Uh, seems like pretty reasonable. They're not giving any victory points on these cards, but it seems like you're really getting to do some cool things to modify your dice. And then high roller, oof, this is a little bit of a gambler card. I love gambler cards. Roll a die, if it's a one, you lose all your gained money with high roller. If it's any other value, you gain a, a steel and a lightning bolt. And then you get to repeat it again. So great. Yes, you just gamble until you roll a one. <laughs> this is not the card for me. I like to roll ones, but I would love to play with this. Oh, I'm so excited. That's a really fun card. What a neat contractor. And of course, with contractors, you do them once and, and that's it. Uh, so they're done. Yeah, it looks like I've got oh, more and more stacks of cool, cool blueprints. And then these guys for contractors. Wow. So thank you for joining me for this unboxing and just taking a peek at what I got with my Kickstarter delivery. Uh, I really wasn't sure what to expect as you saw. I'm popping things out as I, as I look at it. 
Uh, and I'm, I'm really thrilled about this, particularly the manufacturers. I'm definitely going to have to give that subterfuge a chance, uh, even though sometimes games that have a lot of high player interaction, uh, particularly sabotage, um, don't always make me feel the greatest. And I think that Fantastic Factories makes me feel pretty fantastic. Uh, so we'll have to see how it goes. Um, yeah, golly, let me know if you got this, if you backed it on Kickstarter, tell me what you're, what you're playing with and uh, how you're kind of putting your game together. Both expansions, one expansion, how do you include all the cards? I want to know. So let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't uh, played just the base game, get your hands on it and make sure to watch my Barb video where I explain exactly how to play this game. You're not going to see the super cool play map because I didn't have it then, but you'll probably see this in the future where I talk about what my experience is playing this game, particularly with the expansions. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for joining me. I will see you next time.